Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizish.com. On this video tutorial, I want to show you how to add a built-in listing li using our Tizish system listing tool, basically. All right. So understand this though before we begin. If you have listings, I'm using this site as the demo. But if you have a listing tool on your site, most likely you're not going to need to use this tool that I'm showing you that's built into your website system because you'll probably have an IDX system that does it. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, then check out my other video tutorial on DS IDX Press listing insertion. All right. But this is basically if you don't have an IDX system or maybe you have a special listing like a sold listing because IDX systems don't provide sold listings. If you have a sold listing that you want to enter on your website and you want to make it look pretty. All right, here's what you have to do. Use the built-in system we have in your admin panel. So here's what you do. Go to a blog posting or a page. So I'm going to use a test posting that I already have. So I'm going here. Here's test post for sold or featured. I'm just going to go ahead and click on edit just to show you how this works. And now here's the posting, of course, like normal. And now I'm going to go ahead and delete this now. And let's just say this is the picture. This is the description. All right. It's something. I know. Um, let's just correct that spelling real quick. This is the text. Let's just put this is the text. Okay. So if this is our text. And now what we need to do is, of course, add our listing data. But maybe before that, we want to add images. So if you want more details on adding images, then check out the image tutorial or check out the tutorial where I go over how to add images and so forth. But for now, let's just say you want to add one image, all right? Well, what you got to do is click on this button here. You're going to upload an image like normal and so forth just by choosing select file from your computer and upload. And after you upload, here's what it'll look like, all right? It'll, it'll bring you to a page that looks just something like this. So let's it'll bring you to a page like this. Here's what you got to do. To insert the image into your post, simply click on the size you want it to be. And then after that, I like medium. After that, you click on insert into post. And then that puts the image wherever you want. If you want to align it somewhere else, let's say you want it aligned in the center, for instance. Just click on the image and then choose left, middle, or right. So let's say center. They're centered now. And we have our text below it. So now let's say oh, we want our text to be left. We don't want that to happen. So now we have our text left and our image center just like normal. Well, now let's say we want to enter all of our MLS data, right? We just need to do all that. Well, to make it look pretty like a good MLS printout, here's what you got to do. Scroll down on your page, on whether it's a post or a page, and look for the section that says general property info and property details. This is now where you put in all the extra details. This first one, see how it says you must push yes, hit yes, put an MLS number if, if one's applicable. Here's the property price. I'm just going to say 123, 123, 123, just to have something to show. Let's say 123 Main Street's the address. City, let's just say fake town, the state, California, and the zip code, we'll do 55555. So here's our general info. Now let's get the property details, the square feet bedrooms, baths, additional features. I'm just going to say here are more features. This is where a more featured box can show up. Let's just say that's the case. Now a property map. You can put a property map from Google, okay? There's a link here to show you how to do a video tutorial on that. So go ahead and just check that out. Otherwise, um, you'll just check out that tutorial to get this whole complete part. I don't want to go into too much detail on that for, this, for the sake of this focused tutorial. Now, after you put a property map code that you'll get by watching this tutorial, the next thing you do is a listing agent name. So I'll just call it John Doe, listing company, John Doe Real Estate. I'll just say JD Real Estate. And then the phone number. And here's, after doing that, all you have to do now, you scroll up. And now what you're going to have to do is just click on save or publish, you know, update or publish, whatever the case is. And by doing this, what happened now, we just now made a nice, pretty listing page that you can put into your featured postings, into your as a featured listing or maybe as a sold listing, whatever the case is. So here's our page. Here's our listing now, and see we have our picture here, and then we have our property details here. 
and that's pretty much it. And of course, it's surrounded by all the lead capture items and so forth. But nonetheless, that's how you use your property listing details. All right. This share stuff is here on purpose. It's better up here than at the bottom. It's better at the top and then the rest of the property details. Okay, so that's intentional by the way. So anyhow, that's everything on using this feature listings, how to use the Tizish built-in feature listings or sold listings function. All right, if you have any questions, email me at training at and let me know. Otherwise, good luck and have fun using this tool. Take care.